This one in the books for the fourth time in school history and the first time since 1991. Pittsburgh State Gorillas are the national football champions. 35-21, the final score here in Florence. The Gorillas are coming off their fourth national championship in school history. For head coach Tim Beck and the players, they understand the past is in the past, and this 2012 squad will have to find their own personality moving forward. You know, we're getting ready for, obviously, the 2012 season, and, and each team takes on its own personality. And uh, you, even though you play the games in, in September, October, November, you win and lose football games in the spring and in the summer. Uh, on how, how we work and how we uh, lift weights, how we run and how we do all those things. So we haven't sp uh, spent a lot of time talking about it, but we, we let them know that one of the biggest reasons we were successful this last season was because of our work ethic and the things that we did in the off season in the summertime. Last year was last year, this year is this year. Um, it's nice to have the ring and all, have the memories and t-shirts and whatnot, but you just gotta you get, get, that, get to that point where you got to focus on this fall instead of last fall. What we did last year is not going to have any bearing on this upcoming season. And we, we understand that. We, uh, we know what, what we have to do week in and week out now to be a successful team. And um, that all starts with practices. And that, that's where we're trying to get better right now. You're still not long strike. Turn your feet over. The Gorillas returned 13 players who started six or more games last season and with the addition of a few transfers. This squad has a lot of talent and experience on the playing field. We have a good, uh, good amount of experience coming back. And again, you know, kind of look back to two years ago where we had very few kids that had traveled with us, you know, on the road. So, you know, we, we, did, lose a, we did lose a tremendous group of seniors um, and they'll, be, they'll obviously be missed. But we do have a good number of people that will be back that have game experience. I think we have a lot of talent. You know, we have a lot of speed everywhere. Our D-line can move, just like last year. Uh, linebackers, of course, our cornerbacks. We all can move. We just have to bond and uh, set a personality for us or ourselves. You know, last year our defense, we were just hard-nosed, just beat you no matter what. And uh, it's, it's a lot different. We, lo we lost a lot of those guys. Go! Two, get it down! Four. Even with all the talent and experience, these spring drills are crucial for both the coaches and the players to get on the same page. There's really three things as a team that we want to uh, kind of get done and make sure we're all on the same page. And we want, we want our players to be physical in the spring. We want to play physical. We felt like we made a lot of uh, improvements as an offensive and defensive unit to being physical. So being physical is, is very important for us. Focus on exactly what we're doing. We're not going to go as long as we normally would practice in the fall, but we we kind of cut down the time-wise, but we wanted to make sure that we stay focused and are learning for the for the 18 periods that we do practice. Um, so being focused on what we're doing and what we're trying to get done is extremely important. And the third thing is to make sure that we compete at a high level. Uh, we don't have a game to prepare for, we have a season to prepare for. First couple of days are always slow and rough because you can't really block what you're supposed to block with just helmets on. but. First day of full pads, it's Friday, and it went well. Just reworking the stuff and getting it back in our memory, what to do, when to do it, and we're kind of springs almost more for uh, kind of the littler details. Try to maybe work on your footwork and where your eyes should be in certain places. Just kind of bringing it back a couple steps so you can progress faster. Go! Go! Get up! Get up! Get up! Good! Carney Smith Stadium is one of the premier facilities in the country. This next season, Gorilla fans will notice a major upgrade concerning its field. Well, we are replacing the turf uh, this summer. After uh, summer camps are complete, we'll, we'll have a completely new look uh, on the field when we show up in August for preseason practice. Uh, we just finished the 10th year on the old turf, and that's about the life expectancy. And it'll, it'll look the same. We'll have the traditional split face at the 50-yard line. We don't want to lose that. but. Um, but the end zone looks will, will be a little bit different and I think we'll, uh, we'll create some excitement. But certainly um, we're excited to have a new surface there. 
uh, we think for a lot of reasons that's going to be beneficial to not only the football program, but the athletic program, track program, the athletic program in general. Along with the new turf, there will also be some other new offerings, such as the Guerrilla Nation membership. By joining Guerrilla Nation, alumni and friends can receive member-only access to tailgates prior to each home football game, as well as post-game events at various times throughout the year. Membership also provides access to an exclusive monthly luncheon with PSU coaches and staff, a 200-page 2012 PSU football yearbook, and a free annual subscription to a new layer of premium content to be offered on PittStateGorillas.com starting in August called Guerrilla Access. On top of that, you'll receive discounts on concessions, website apparel, and other specials. One final change for the 2012 football season will be tickets. What we really want to do is sell out those season ticket reserve seats. So because of that, we're not raising uh, season ticket prices for season ticket holders. Those will be the same as they were in 2011 and actually those will remain the same for 2012 and 2013. We want to give our fans a chance to plan ahead to know what those ticket costs are going to be for two years at a time. Um, that's a reward to our fans, a thanks for all your support last year, um, but we think it's the right thing to do as well. Link to that is the fact that we will raise prices on walk-up tickets. So if you're buying single game tickets a week at a time, either during the week or walking up on game day and buying them at the gate, those will be more than what they've been in the past. Um, we think that the value of our ticket is worth more than what it has been in the past. But again, uh, part of that strategy is we want to show a real value between the walk-up ticket and the season ticket. As far as the schedule for home games is concerned, Here's the rundown. It all kicks off with probably one of the most anticipated home openers in school history against Central Oklahoma. This will also be our Hall of Fame game. September 22nd, Pitt State hosts Lincoln, which will also be our annual family day. October 6th is against Central Missouri, and the following week is one you'll want to mark down. It's the Fall Classic at Arrowhead Stadium, Kansas City, against Northwest Missouri. Kickoff is at 2. The following week, we're back in the jungle hosting Missouri Western, which is also our homecoming game. The last home game on the schedule is November 3rd against Lindenwood, which is also senior day. Gorilla fans don't have to wait until August to get a taste of Pitt State football. On April 28th, it's the annual spring game, which is held at Carney Smith Stadium. Kickoff is at 10 a.m. Looking ahead, the second annual Gorilla Gala will be held on August 3rd this year. It will be the official kickoff for the academic year. Uh, not only will it be a, a fundraiser, but it will again be a social opportunity in a very relaxed setting uh, for our booster supporters to be around each other, be around our coaches, but it really is truly the kickoff event now for the 2012-2013 academic year. While well, getting your tickets for the gala, also pick up your official copy of the Road to Florence magazine so you can relive in chronological order the entire championship season of the 2011 Pitt State Gorillas. This 80-page magazine also comes with a DVD that captures the team from the annual spring game all the way to the Capitol in Topeka, where they were honored by Governor Sam Brownback. You can get your official copy at the following local vendors or by calling the Pitt State Athletics Office for more details. Step foot into Kearney Smith Stadium during a home football game and it's easy to see why it's regarded as one of the premier facilities in the entire country. It's a capacity crowd full of diehard gorillas cheering their team to victory. Ah, Pitt State! Whoa! It's great. Um, they're like our 12th man. If we feel we, we we get fired up from when our fans get fired up and vice versa. You know, the fans are the best thing about Pitt State. Uh, especially being on the defense, you know, hearing the fans go crazy during the game, that just pumps me, pump pumps all of us up even more. It's gotta be intimidating for the visitors. We want it to be even more intimidating, but it, it really is a special place. Well, I think everybody saw, you know, everybody knows Gorilla Nations is, is an awesome group of people and group of fans. Um, but I think everybody took it to another level when we, when we looked at the semifinal game against Delta State and the atmosphere and the electricity that was in the air that night was just uh, second to none. It's the best I've ever seen at Carnage Smith Stadium and, and that's what we're striving for. I mean, it, I know it's uh, intense because it's the semifinal, uh, semifinals of the national championship game. But that's what we're striving for to have every game. So as a, as a Gorilla Nation and fans that we have, we can continue to improve uh, what we do have and build on what we do have. And, and I hopefully, hopefully as fans, we don't take it for granted as well. 
and uh, let's try to try to strive to make every game at home to have that much electricity and that much excitement would be and it's just a tremendous atmosphere.